Hi, I'm Mike Swanbaum, and I'd like to show you a problem here involving a thermistor circuit that is used to measure temperature in the fish tank systems that we do in Engineering 121. Uh, so for this problem, we are given that we have a circuit that is connected instead of to the 5 volt reference pin or the 5 volt uh, regulated voltage that's on the Arduino, it is connected to the input voltage which is actually sitting at 6 volts. So that's this uh, voltage right here. It is then connected through a uh, 14,320 ohm resistor up here on the top labeled R and then the current would flow down through the thermistor which also functions as a resistor but it is a variable resistor that changes with temperature uh, and then uh, goes around back to ground. Um, at this location right here uh, the voltage is being measured and it is being measured relative to the ground. Um, when the Arduino makes that measurement, it uses the 5 volt uh, regulated pin as the reference, uh, regardless of what uh, voltage is supplying the circuit. So the first thing we want to do is figure out what is the voltage uh, that exists across this thermistor, and I'm going to put it right here and label it V sub T. So V sub T is the voltage that we can determine based on the analog read value that's coming into the programming of the Arduino, which is 790. It is that value multiplied by the reference voltage, which as I've mentioned a couple times is the uh, 5 volts, divided by 1023, the uh, analog converter, uh, analog to digital converter inside of the Arduino is a 10-bit analog to digital converter and that's where that number of 1023 comes from. Okay, so when we put these in here we will have 790 times 5 divided by 1023 and that gives us 3.861 or so. volts. One thing I'd like to do on the calculator is go ahead and store that into a variable. I'll just store that into A because I'm going to probably need it in just a minute. Alright, so now we know the voltage across the thermistor. The next thing I want to do is just use the idea, this is uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law, the sum of voltages around the entire circuit has to be equal to zero. And so we have a 6 volt uh, voltage over here we just found V sub T and so that means that we should be able to determine what the voltage is across R so I'll call that V sub R. V sub R is just going to be equal to V uh, or excuse me 6 volts minus V sub T So when I punch those in, 6 minus, and then it was really just the uh, previous answer, right? So uh, we can look at that. That is 2.139, we'll say, volts. All right. So that's our next step. Um, now that we know the amount of voltage that goes across that resistor, we can find how much current flows in that resistor. And that current has to be the same as it is everywhere else in this circuit. There is no current that flows on this leg over here. There's no uh, current flow because that is a high impedance input on the Ardu Arduino. So if we find the current that flows in resistor R, we also find the uh, current that is flowing in the thermistor. So that might be handy. So to do that, uh, what I'll do is calculate I as this voltage of 2.139 volts divided by the resistance value that we have on resistor R. 14,320 ohms. All right. 
which gives us a very small value. It's not unexpected that it's a small value because these are high resistance values. So we'll say 1.494 or so times 10 to the negative fourth amps. Okay, and as I mentioned, that is the same current that has to flow uh, down here through the thermistor. So there really is no other place for current to go. It has to be the same everywhere in this loop. And so I'll take that current, uh, and since I know the voltage across the thermistor, if I take that voltage and divide by the current, it gives me the resistance of the thermistor. So down here, I'll say R sub T for the resistance across the thermistor is going to be equal to the voltage there, 3.861 volts, divided by the current, which is 1.494 times 10 to the negative fourth amp, And recall that I put the 3.861 volt value up there in my variable A. I will recall that. And divide it by my most recent answer. This gives me a resistance value of 25,852 ohms or so. And therefore my answer would be B. Appreciate you watching. I would also appreciate if you would hit like, subscribe, comment below, and I hope this has been very valuable.